Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of LCR. This is David, and today we're talking about the Move Pack dog seat cover. Uh, this is good for people who have dogs and they want to take it for rides in the cars. Uh, this will protect your seat. Uh, we're going to take it out, we're going to demonstrate putting it together in the back of the car, and we're going to check out its durability and see if it's any good. Uh, so let's go ahead and go get that done now. Okay, so what we're going to do is now is that we're going to install this dog cover. And I'm going to take out the current one I have right now. Uh, this is a lighter one, which I got from a local store. And right now I just use it for ride share because that's my job. So I need to protect my seats. But this is actually a dog cover inside right here. But this is pretty much a upgraded one. Uh, so if you're gonna have dogs in your car, you'd rather have the bigger one. So let's go ahead, let's get that installed. We'll check out the steps. Okay, so I went ahead, I got it out of the car. Uh, so. It's out of the bag right now. It comes in this nice little case here. So I'm gonna unzipper it. Here is the inside. I have not taken this out of the bag, so this is what it looks like when you first get it. Here's your instructions right here. From what I can tell, it does come in multiple pieces. Uh, it looks like it comes in four pieces, as you see right here. So if you want it on the front seat, actually there's a demonstration right here. And you can get it as a little box for half this back seat's taken up. So you get this different types right here. Here's our back. As you can see the instructions. So what we're gonna do is right now is that we're going to take it out. Let's take a quick look at it right now. Here's our buckles and chains. This looks like for the seat belt on top of the car. Let's go ahead and take this apart. Looks like it all zippers. It does have some mesh right here. I'm assuming that's for when your dog can look and breathe. It is actually, it's a heavy material. It is a really a heavy material. I don't know if you can get a good look on the screen or not. The inside is definitely softer. Uh, I believe it is it's water, supposed to be waterproof. Uh, you know, in case your dog does a certain business business. All right, here's our zipper. So what I'm going to do, there's a lot of straps on this. This is probably gonna be a longer video. It's a clip. So I'm going to unzip this right now. All right, we have different sections here. So bear with me, because I am doing this with you. Might take me a little more looking into this, so we'll probably cut this video real quick and I'll get a little bit of knowledge of this better instead of trying to learn on the curve with you guys. This way I can give you guys a better education on this item. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, this is what's gonna happen. We did put it together. Well, I should say I put it together. It is a pain in the butt. Yes, it is. Uh, so you really should know what you're doing. If you haven't used one of these before, it's gonna take a little bit of practice to figure it out what it is. Uh, but as you can see right here, we got a mesh right here. And we have a pocket, which you can put treats in or you can put whatever else you want in it. Uh, so this is how it works. There's two strap ends, which you put on the headrest right here. It has the clips. I'm gonna undo that really quick. You see right here, you should be able to see it on it. You just clip it together and you just put it around the headrest and voila. Now, if you are looking right here, you could actually see it right here. This is the seat belt buckles. Wait, you, actually what you put your buckle into. Uh, there's two of them, one for each side. Uh, what it is, it's Velcro, and it's actually very hard and tight. So it, this is what helps make it waterproof or it doesn't go through the seats. If your dog should uh, be in the rain or want to do his business. As you see, I just took that one out and just stick it back in and seal it up. It's actually quite easy. This is really heavy duty. So it's gonna be nice and tight. 
So make sure you just Velcro it back together. So the back is like the front, it's the same exact thing, you just clip. Uh, on the bottom, I'm going to try to show you real quick. This disc slides right in between those two seats. Uh, the bottom here and the top here, it's just like your couch at home when you try to find change in between the cushions. You just slide it right in there and this way, this is tucked right along the seat. So I'm gonna put this back up right now. I'm gonna show you. You take your clip, your two ends, put it around your headrest, clip it in. Same thing with the other side. Now what I'm going to show you is the box. Uh, pretty much what it is, I'm gonna take this end right here and I'm going to zipper it up. There's a zipper right here and there's a zipper right here that goes up here and up here. Now what this is going to do is it helps the waterproof and also keeps your dogs off your car doors. So let's get that. Zip it up. There we go. Just bear with me. As you can see right here, it does make a bowl type of deal. And what you can do is that you can strap it to the handle right on top. Usually your car has the handle. Or has a hook. I'm gonna show you. So bear with me as I move the camera. As you can see right there, I am just doing a quick demonstration. As you can see right there. And the same thing is on this side, same exact thing. You just take it and you just zipper it up and you can make a hole. So let's put the camera back right here. Actually, as you see right here, Again, this is a uh, Velcro. And this is our mesh, our pocket, our straps. And when you put this up, then you get the box. Again, you know, it's it takes a little bit to get used to. I'm sorry, blocking the camera. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to. You have to learn it. It's not that easy. Uh, so you may want to put it up once. I don't know, depending on how many dogs you have. But I think once you figure it out, it gets a lot easier. It's actually taking the wind out of me, but I'm not in the best shape either. Uh, so here's our case. Do a quick review. Uh, one thing I did not show you. Yeah, we're walking. I don't typically do this in my reviews. Uh, here is your seatbelt buckle for your dogs. You just click it in. And you put this to the collar. There's actually two of them right here. And you can secure them in your car because believe it or not, yes, dogs should have seatbelts. Uh, I know dogs love sticking their heads out the window. It's like an amazing thing for them. I don't get it. But hey, a dog is going to do what a dog is going to do. Uh, yeah, so here's our instructions again. Uh, I didn't go over every single step, every single mode this thing can go into. But again, you know, it can go in your front seat, as you can see right here in the image. It can go in your back seat. It can do that little box back here. So if you've got kids or if you've got somebody else sitting in the car, you can actually have the dog only occupy half the seat instead of the whole seat in the back. But it can use more for dog. It can be, I'm sorry, you can use it more than for dogs. Uh, you know, you got kids, kids are dirty. Uh, since I do ride share, I'm not saying that all my riders are dirty, but some of them are dirty. You know, some of them getting off work, some work at restaurants and, or if it's raining, they're soaking wet, they get in the car, they actually can dirty the seats very quickly. Uh, I do not have leather. Uh, when I started doing ride share and I got this car, I didn't think about leather. I'm not a leather fan to begin with and seats get do, do get dirty much, much quicker than if I had leather. because so I have the regular fabric seats and it kind of sucks because 
I gotta wash to get the I gotta get the seats washed. Uh, I know I'm rambling. I'm actually out of breath. Just trying to learn this thing. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't be out of breath. And it also is on the cool side. It's actually a beautiful out today. Compared, it's about 50 degrees. I am in Rhode Island, and today it's beautiful because it's not raining. It's been raining a lot lately, and it's actually been a delay on this video. I've been wanting to do this for a while. But yeah, let's just do a quick recap. We have our pocket, we have our mesh, we have our zippers so you can go down. Actually, I didn't even show this. Let's go down real quick. So if you have a center console in the back seat of your car, like I do right here, voila! See, you put your cups there, you do whatever, you know. I know that's why we're not watching the video. But then you just zipper it back up and you get to use it. So they really did think of a lot of things when they made this, because it does come in the multiple pieces. So you don't take up the whole area. And I do like the fact that it has all the zippers because then I can get into that little thing I just brought down. I can't think right now. Actually, I don't even know what it's called to you, honestly. But yeah, you can bring that down or when you zipper it, whatever you need to do. Yeah, I'm just rambling on right now. But yeah, again, if you have any questions or comments, if you liked my video, if you want to make fun of me, go ahead. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I, I love it if you could like it and subscribe to my channel. If you're on Amazon, uh, if you find this kind of helpful, I uh, hope you do. Make sure you put a little heart, like my video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the video down below. If you're on Amazon, you know, you can ask them down below and maybe I can answer some questions for you. Uh, I will be trying this out. I might see if I can modify this for I can use it for rideshare. And hopefully I can answer some questions for you. Again, my name is David from LCR and I hope you all have a great day. It is uh, November and it's getting cold out, but it's beautiful and you're beautiful. I know. This is David. Have a good one.